CompTIA Security Plus certification is a global certification that validates the baseline skills necessary to perform core security functions and pursue an IT security career. Most candidates know that passing SY0-501 exam is the requirement of achieving CompTIA Security Plus certification. However, New SY0-601 exam has been released on November 12, 2020. You can come to Dumpspace to choose the great SY0-601 dumps questions to prepare CompTIA Security Plus certification exam well. Question number one. A company has drafted an insider threat policy that prohibits the use of external storage devices. Which of the following would best protect the company from data exfiltration via removable media? A. Monitoring large data transfer transactions in the firewall logs B. Developing mandatory training to educate employees about the removable media policy C. Implementing a group policy to block user access to system files D. Blocking removable media devices and write capabilities using a host-based security tool Answer. D. Question number 2 a cybersecurity manager has scheduled biannual meetings with the IT team and department leaders to discuss how they would respond to hypothetical cyberattacks. During these meetings, the manager presents a scenario and injects additional information throughout the session to replicate what might occur in a dynamic cybersecurity event involving the company, its facilities, its data, and its staff. Which of the following describes what the manager is doing? A. Developing an incident response plan. B. Building a disaster recovery plan. C. Conducting a tabletop exercise. D. Running a simulation exercise. Answer. C. Question number three. Which of the following is the purpose of a risk register? A. To define the level or risk using probability and likelihood. B. To register the risk with the required regulatory agencies. C. To identify the risk, the risk owner, and the risk measures. D. To formally log the type of risk mitigation strategy the organization is using? Answer. C. Question number four. A recently discovered zero-day exploit utilizes an unknown vulnerability in the SMB network protocol to rapidly infect computers. Once infected, computers are encrypted and held for ransom. Which of the following would best prevent this attack from reoccurring? A. Configure the perimeter firewall to deny inbound external connections to SMB ports. B. Ensure endpoint detection and response systems are alerting on suspicious SMB connections. C. Deny unauthenticated users access to shared network folders. D. Verify computers are set to install monthly operating system updates automatically. Answer. A. Question number five. 
which of the following policies would help an organization identify and mitigate potential single points of failure in the company's IT security operations? A. Least privilege B. Awareness training C. Separation of duties D. Mandatory vacation Answer, C. Question number 6 A company recently set up an e-commerce portal to sell its product online. The company wants to start accepting credit cards for payment, which requires compliance with a security standard. Which of the following standards must the company comply with before accepting credit cards on its e-commerce platform? A. PCI DSS B. ISO 22301 C. ISO 27001 D. NIST CSF Answer, A. Question number 7 Which of the following would be the best method for creating a detailed diagram of wireless access points and hotspots? A. Footprinting B. White box testing C. A drone UAV D. Pivoting Answer, A. Question number 8 Which of the following is most likely to outline the roles and responsibilities of data controllers and data processors? A. SSAESOC2 B. PCIDSS C. GDPR D. ISO 31000 Answer, C. Question number 9 A network administrator needs to build out a new data center, with a focus on resiliency and uptime. Which of the following would best meet this objective? Choose 2. A. Dual power supply B. Off-site backups C. Automatic OS upgrades D. Nick teaming E. Scheduled penetration testing F. Network attached storage Answer, A, B Question number 10 an employee has been charged with fraud and is suspected of using corporate assets. As authorities collect evidence, and to preserve the admissibility of the evidence, which of the following forensic techniques should be used? A. Order of volatility B. Data recovery C. Chain of custody D. Non-repudiation Answer, C. Come to dumps base now, we have real CompTIA SY0-601 dumps to ensure that you can pass CompTIA Security plus SY0-601 exam successfully. <laughs>